So you're thinking about selling your house. What things should you do to get your house ready for buyer approval? Well, stick around. I'm going to tell you. We're going to go over the five things that can help you prepare your home to sell before those buyers come looking at your property. Now, these are kind of considered those honeydews that probably haven't been completed yet. So we're going to go over a couple of them, just five things that make a huge difference when a buyer comes to your home. Now remember, when they see things that need to be taken care of, they think, what else has not been taken care of and I'm not seeing? So you want them to have the feeling that you do the maintenance at your home and take good care of it so they're more confident putting an offer in on your property. So just a few things. And the first thing we're going to discuss is paint. Paint is relatively cheap, easy to put on. Most people can do it. And boy, does it give it that wow factor of a fresh look. It takes care of all those little nicks and dings on your walls and can really spruce up an area in a short amount of time with minimal expense. So fresh paint is keen. Now remember when you are picking your paint color, try to be neutral because everybody has a different taste and you want to appeal to the mass of buyers and not just a specific, a specific set that like bold colors. So keep that in consideration when you're choosing paint colors. Okay, so that's the number one thing that you can do to get ready for, ready for buyers. Number two is something that's so simple, but people often overlook it. And it's taking a rag to your switch plates. So where you turn the electrical lights on and off, sometimes they get pretty dirty. Now they've been up there for years. Sometimes you have little ones, they might have jam on their fingers when they're turning the light off and on and that jam has stayed there. Or perhaps you have someone in your family that works on cars or has fun playing in the yard. Well, that dirt and oil gets on there. You would not believe how many times I've showed a property and the buyers go to turn on the light in a room and they're like, ooh, oh, look how dirty. And they don't even want to turn on the light because the light switch is so dirty. So take a rag, clean it off, or just buy new ones. They're about 10 cents, very easy to replace. And boy, do they make a difference and really brighten the area up and also show how clean you are. Now, the third thing we're going to talk about is lighting. Lighting is a great way to spruce up an area bring it from outdated into updated, and also add enough light that it makes the area look bigger. So lighting is huge. When I list a home, I ask all my sellers to go through and see if they have any burned out light bulbs. And I ask them to replace old light bulbs with LED bulbs. This pro provides great lighting, not only for buyers coming in, but for those pictures that we're going to take of your property to put on the internet, because as you know, 95% of buyers do their shopping on the internet before they ever step inside a house. So we want it nice and bright to open up the room with all that light. And of course, if you have a very outdated lighting fixture, take the time, go get one from your local store, install it, and watch how it makes your room pop from undated to updated. You will be surprised how much that little bit of updating really changes the feel and the look of a room. Just wonderful. And you have fun shopping for it too. Now remember, you don't want to spend a huge amount of money because you do not get back dollar for dollar what you put into repairs in the price. So we want you to get a nice fixture, but we don't want you to break the bank. 
So now that we've talked about paint, we've talked about cleanliness of the light switches and light bulbs and lighting. So now we're going to talk about carpet. The next thing in your home is your flooring. Now your flooring goes all the way from the front door, all the way to the back door, all the way to the garage. So flooring is very important, but it can be pretty costly too. So it depends on whether we're in a seller's market or a buyer's market as to the repairs that you're going to do. So if we are in a seller's market, which by the way, that's what we're in right now, sellers do not have to complete a ton of repairs to attract buyers. However, a carpet that is torn, is going to have a tripping hazard, would probably need to be replaced. However, carpet that is just dirty from everyday living could do with a nice shampooing and that will be all that you need. If thing is, something is torn, probably best to replace. If something is just worn, just a little outdated, that can be dealt with with a seller credit so that the new buyers can pick what they like. Remember, everybody has a different taste. We would hate to replace the carpet with a nice brown Berber and they're going to come in and put linoleum in or um, LVT, luxury vinyl. So we hate to do that. So it depends on the market. Make sure you discuss that with your agent. And then the last thing that we're going to talk about, number five, is another simple fix. It is the front door. Remember that when buyers drive up to your house, they're going to look at the curb appeal. This is going to be how your house looks from their car. We're going to want to make sure that there's no trash laying around, that the porch is nice and clean, that there are some attractive colors coming up to the door. This is where a fresh coat of paint on that front door can give you that wow factor. Remember, when the agent is unlocking the door, your buyers are going to be looking around. They're going to check to see if there's cobwebs, if there's cracks in the stucco, if there's somebody's toy or a shoe laying by the door. Yep, I've had lots of shoes laying by the door with their socks. I don't know why they don't take them in. So make sure that it is a clean area and feel free to add a pop of color to add some interest. This could be a potted plant, a little statue, a little figurine, a bird bath, something that is going to attract the eye of your buyer. So that is number five. So recap real fast, a new coat of paint. Clean those uh, electrical switch plates, update your light bulbs and perhaps even a lighting fixture. Um, look at your carpet. Does it need shampooed or is there some repairs that should take place? And don't forget that front door that's going to attract those buyers as they drive by. I hope this helps. Of course, this is just five items that you can do. If you're looking for more items, please click below and get my full list of items that sellers can do that don't cost a bunch of money and create that wow factor.